despite my best attempts to become more of a sunrise photographer, I still struggle with alarms before 5 a.m. I made a lot of extra coffee this morning. We packed our bags, loaded up the Jeep, and hit the road. This is part one of our trip to Mammoth Lakes, California. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. We are here visiting the stunning Convict Lake in Mammoth Lakes, California. And we're here right before sunrise, so I'm gonna hike up the trail a little bit and hopefully find a spot to get some good images of the mountains lighting up at sunrise. The surface of the water is a little bit broken with the wind, uh, unlike the last time I came to this location. So uh, I'll put that image up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna get that smooth surface where the water looks like glass. So I've set up a little bit of a different image for this morning. So I focus in on my favorite part of the mountain face over there, which has a lot of these curved lines in the front of the rock. And what I'm waiting for is the sunlight to come and illuminate just the top portion of that scene. Uh, so I have my 100 to 400 on, set up, zoomed right into that section. And now we're just waiting around for the sunrise light. After spending the morning photographing Convict Lake, we decided it was time to hike up to one of our favorite locations in the area. We hit the trail to Sherwin Lakes, the ultimate goal of 11 miles round trip to Lake Valentine. The morning was incredibly clear, so it was a little bit more challenging than I'd expected to find interesting scenes to photograph. Instead of grand vistas, I focus more on smaller scenes that I found along the edge of the trail on this hike. While on this hike, I thought of a video that Thomas Heaton had shared a while back where he discusses how exceptional views don't always make for great photographs. I thoroughly enjoyed the views as we hiked further and further towards the Alpine lakes, but none of the grand vistas made for great photographs. So I stopped, enjoyed the beautiful summer morning, relaxed under some aspen trees, and we made our way further and further up in the mountains. We made it up to our favorite alpine lake here in the John Muir wilderness. It is totally sunny with not a cloud in the sky, so I don't know if we'll get any 
portfolio worthy images this afternoon, but we might hike around this lake and see if we can find something that looks interesting. So long hike to get up to here, but uh, it's pretty tempting to jump in the ice cold water and cool off a bit. So um, I think we're gonna walk around and see what else we can find up here. You wanna jump in? Do I what? Do I wanna jump in? Not particularly. And yeah, the reason I don't wanna jump in is because I just dip my legs in to about up to my knees and the water cannot be any warmer than 40 degrees. It's freezing, so. All right, she's going for it. Brian is stronger than me in some ways and I am stronger than him. I would never go into water this cold. Except that you did an Iron Man in Boulder and it was 20 degrees outside. I'm gonna tap into my inner, I don't know if I have like 1% of Norwegian in me. I love sauna, so I'll probably love the ice dip. Oh. Here we go. Moment of truth. Effortless. <laughs> See if she's gonna jump in. <laughs> I just don't wanna hurt my ankle. It's on the ground. Some heavy breathing. I think it's like 50. Maybe 47. I think the water is certainly in the 40s. I think this is all frozen from snow. Okay, I'm gonna go. Just wish there was a sauna. I'm gonna lay on that rock. Okay. Ready, set. <laughs> I'm do like three rocks. Wow, oh, she's going back for more. <laughs> Maybe not. How do you feel? You feel it tighten your lungs, but I feel really good. I feel really invigorated. Good. So, she just went in, making me look bad. Feels amazing. If we had a sauna, we would do this every day. If we had a little sauna up here. I think I'm gonna keep sitting here in the shade. <laughs> so the light is really harsh today and there is one cloud up this way and it's possible that if I give it a little bit more time, a few more clouds might build in and make for a somewhat more interesting black and white photo of this alpine lake, maybe with some clouds over the mountain peaks. But for right now, it is as clear blue as it can possibly get. Over on this side of the lake, there are some down trees in the shallow end of the water, which might make for an interesting foreground. I think we just gotta wait and see if uh, any clouds build in and we might luck out. So this is the view that I think looks best on a really sunny day where we have all of these down logs off in the water that is really exceptionally clear in turquoise color. And I got a black and white and regular color image of this scene with the mountains around the lake and these logs down in the water as the foreground interests. So I think that's probably it for today, but I'm gonna hit the trail and see if we find anything else. This place is special to us because when Brian and I had been dating for about two years, we came up here and absolutely fell in love with this place. We fell more in love with each other and it's just such a little piece of paradise. Nobody's up here, there's tons of fish. Um, a lot of people come up fishing, we just didn't bring any of that gear this trip, but it feels like a slice of heaven and like time moves really slow here, which I know most of us don't feel in the modern world. So. Well, we made it to our favorite resting spot on the 12 mile hike up to Valentine Lake. And it is a natural cold spring where we can stop and refill our water bottles without having to worry about having to carry too much water up to the lake. So we stopped here for a few moments, gonna fill up on some fresh water. So while this afternoon didn't end up being the best afternoon for photography, I thoroughly enjoyed the hike, scouted out a few areas that I'd look to revisit the remainder of the trip, and can't wait to come back when the conditions and the light are a little bit better. 
Thanks as always for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.